Okay, so I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about how to get a good start in the MotoGP 15 game and in, more specifically in the MotoGP class. And I'm gonna test out if it works with the Moto2 class. I've just tested out the Moto3 class, it does not work with the Moto3 class. Um, there's just not enough power to get a good start there. Best thing there is just to keep it throttle wide open, first gear, and then when the light turns green, just move along with anyone else. But as soon as you get into Moto2 or Moto GP, you can use this technique that I'm gonna show you, which um, it does put some strain on the rear tire. You are gonna spin it. You're basically gonna take off in a burnout or something like that, like a road burnout. But um, it does start a whole lot faster than just your regular full throttle. So let's say you line up on the grid. Uh, preferably because this starts a lot faster than anyone else, you would be in a position where uh, you would have free space in front of you. Preferably like first place, that is probably the best place to do this. Um, if you cannot get pole position, you can try it. You gotta remember that your rear tire is spinning as you accelerate. So it's going to be really, really, really hard to steer out of the way of any of your opponents. And um, yeah, so basically what you do is, you are at the start, you put your bike in first gear, obviously, I'm not gonna do that before it starts rolling. But um, as soon as the light turns green, you should be full throttle. As soon as the light turns green, you let go of your throttle and full throttle it immediately again. And what that will do is it'll take off the launch control, in quotations, uh, the launch control, and it will actually give full power to the rear, to the rear wheel, which means that it'll start spinning, but you will accelerate a lot faster than your opponents. Basically it looks like this, we're full throttle, I'm gonna put it in the first gear, let go of the throttle, and immediately throttle back up again. See the black line coming? And the bike started to chatter a bit. To a regular start you would start off full throttle, but as soon as you, as lights turn green, it's actually exactly the same as if you would start in first gear from your idle like this. So as you can see, it's a lot faster with the with my method of the spinning burnout. Now, obviously, you gotta keep in mind that this will eat up your rear tire, but heat it up completely. Might even overheat it if you're on a soft tire. So the first couple of corners, you gotta. Keep in mind that the rear tire is going to get a little bit of extra slippery. So, uh, yeah, let's try another little GP class. We'll get back to you guys how it works in there. Okay, so let's line up our starting position. Same thing, you go full throttle, and as soon as light turns green, you let go of the throttle and immediately give full throttle again. You, sh you know you've done it right, you see a whole lot of smoke on the back tire. Now, I'm going to show you again on the next straight here. I'm going to show you again what it uh, looks like and what will happen if you start or if you try to steer like if you're behind a, an opponent and you want to steer out of the way in the starting area or in the starting sequence it's not a good idea to do this because you will do the next thing right here which is not really what you want to do you will immediately fall Even after a couple of seconds, you need to be in second gear at least. 
AI difficulties on simulation, we got pro physics. I do not know if it works in anything else physics wise, like if it works at the simulation physics or if it's just the pro physics. So, first gear, on a full throttle, you can see those lights go out, least throttle. Okay. See how much faster I start than everything else? And this is on simulation difficulty. So that's where you get a pretty fucking good start. 